Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, every single night of Ramadan, every single night of the 29 or 30 nights, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala frees people from hellfire. I'll repeat, frees people from hellfire. Please, for Allah's sake, take a few seconds and think of these words. Frees people from hellfire. Imagine, imagine on a certain night in Ramadan or a certain day in Ramadan, you raise your hands in dua, you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts your dua, accepts you as a Muslim and decrees that hellfire will never touch this Muslim. I want you to ask yourself, what in the world what in this world is worth losing this opportunity? A decree, a decision. A decision can be made in these 30 nights that hellfire will never touch you. You are saved. Do we know what that means? Does, do, does our hearts, do our hearts know what this means? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is allowing you after years of sin, 20, 30 years of disobedience, some 40, 50, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is allowing you because such limited and small a'mal and actions, Allah is allowing you an opportunity to be completely forgiven regardless of your future sins. Why would anyone with brains sacrifice such opportunity for some food? Why would anyone with brains sacrifice opportunity? Because of desires? Because of a tongue that he can't control? Why would a Muslim leave this gate when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing such mercy, such rahmah, such forgiveness?